Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? Welcome back to Charles' Movie Room, and we are ready for the June Blu-ray haul update or clutch update. I'm gonna try to get through this very short, as I have a lot of different movies, and um, I'm recording this right for the Prime Day concert. So hopefully, I can get this done in time. Wasting no time. Cinderella, the um, anniversary edition, the of course the Digi book, which I always get for all of those. And then you have Dumbo, the Tim Burton film. This one's 4K. Cinderella was released in regular Blu-ray, which is weird because just last month or two months ago, Little Mermaid released in 4K. I don't understand it. So let's go ahead and continue. Mean Girls, this was re-released. Um, I haven't seen this movie in a long time. Happy to have it in the collection. These next few are all I got from... Um, the site I always order from, I'm blanking on the name, but they had a horror sale. So let's go and get started. Here is Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers. Anthony Hopkins in the right. The Innkeepers. Poltergeist Extended Cut. I believe this is Poltergeist the Remake. This is also the 3D release. Yeah, this is the remake of Poltergeist. Here's the Bye Bye Man, signed by one of the actors. I don't know which one, I need to figure that out. Here is The Visit, M. Night Shyamalan movie. The Birds, Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. I have it in Alfred Hitchcock box, but I figured I'd get the individual release. Machete Kills, Robert Rodriguez movie. Um, I, knew there, I knew there was a movie, I couldn't remember that I needed a, a new case. I'm gonna set that one to the side. Here is Kropis, of course, uh, Christmas, and here is Bram Stoker's Dracula. Pick this one up because it has um, Gary Oldman in it. The last um, regular release that I picked up was Sneaker Bell and then Legends of the Never Beast. Uh, I picked this up from Disney Rewards. Went to Best Buy. Earlier in the month, before a trip, I was in um, the bigger city near me and they had a sale going on. And so I picked up the complete 11 season of The Big Bang Theory on Blu-ray. I have that. I have all other ones on DVD, but that was only 10 bucks and the DVD was expensive. And then here I have the complete third season of DC Legends of Tomorrow. And again, I had the other two on DVD, but that one was on sale. I'm not going to update the other ones. I don't really care how I have TV shows. Um, I just am collecting the DC ones. And then I picked up um, Captain Marvel on 4K HD. I'm collecting all the Marvel movies on 4K. Um, so that is that. And it was release day that the Captain Marvel came out when I picked up all of those. Um, and then also that day I picked up um, the Lego Movie 2 second part for 10 bucks and they had Justice League vs. The Fatal 5. For ten bucks. Um, so when I got Cinderella released, the Disney Movie Club sent out Cinderella two and Cinderella three. So got those. And then finally, the last movie I got from the horror pack sale was Ouija with the slip cover. All right, moving on to steel books. I have a good collection of steel books. First up is Us. I have not watched this yet. I plan to watch it this month. So stay tuned for my thoughts on that. I have Toy Story, Toy Story 2, and Toy Story 3, all 4K steel books. Plan to watch Toy Story 4 this month, so stay tuned. Actually, I also might rewatch Toy Story 1, 2, and 3 before I do that. Um, so stay tuned for that. And I have Children of the Corn on steel books. And then here's the Pirate Fairy that snuck in. That's another movie. That's another movie I picked up off Disney Rewards. Here is Cinderella, the signature collection steelbook. And the reason that I picked this up is because they re-released Cinderella, the live action on 4K on steelbook. So I wanted to have both of them on 4K. Alrighty, so the next group of movies here is I did a trade with a friend for some DVDs for um, the Blu-rays he had that I didn't have, um, and so I'm going to go through those real fast. Saving Private Ryan, 
Um, I've been enjoying that movie. There's a 4K release I'll probably get at some point. This is a triple pack of Antoine Fisher, Heard on a Fire in the Sea. This one is Sanson Soldier's Airborne Creed. Don't know anything about it. Here is Jarhead 2. He was a big war movie guy. Project Almanac. If you've seen any of his movies, um, let me know in the comment section below and let me know which one I should watch first. Hot Pursuit, The Long Shots, The Tournament, The Code, Burnt. I actually want to watch this film sooner than later. Scooby Doo 1 and 2, The Collection. Um, the Oceans movies, the triple feature, and then I have Dr. Seuss's Horton, Here's a Who, I, Robots, and Space Chimps, and then I have a triple feature of Jarhead, The Kingdom, and The Green Zone, and then I have The Last Airbender, and I have a John Claude Van Damme, triple pack, and then I also have a triple pack of Fantastic Four, Electra, and Daredevil. I already have Fantastic Four, but I went and got it because I don't have Daredevil or Electro. And then my final stack here from the same trade is American Sniper with Bradley Cooper, the slipcover version, um, Gods and Generals, the um, Tim Burton triple feature. I already had Corpse Bride, but I didn't have the other two. And they're actually releasing a Beetlejuice steelbook that I'm going to get in October. Patriot, yet again, a movie I would like on 4K one day. Last Vegas. Superman and Superman 2. The Donner Cut and Superman Returns. Um, 4Ks on two of the three. I don't care for Superman Returns. And then we have uh, The Day After Tomorrow, The Happening and Jumper. Kingdom of Heaven, a Ridley Scott film. Legends of the Guardians, The Owls of... Gathoons, I've seen this movie. It's a Zack Snyder film. Poseidon, Contraband, War, Getaway, Taken 3, so I have to get the other Taken movies. Hercules, The Cobbler, and Snitch. So those are all the movies for the month of June. I already have started on the month of July, so stay tuned for that video at the end of the month. I'm also going to do a brand new video with ranking the movies I watched in the month of June. So stay tuned for that. And I'm also going to be doing a video about Quentin Tarantino. Um, because his new movie comes out at the end of July. Um, so stay tuned for all of that. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye for now.